Hi everybody, here's Christian from the Team Work Cast. Shepard's complaining because I have a bad touch. I make him do bad things. Yeah, I think Shepard needs a squatty potty right there. <laughs> it'd be so much easier if I did. He's just trying to pass an egg because he figures it'd be easier instead of trying to deliver it. So bad. All right, so let's get this cracking here. We are in Monster Hunter Generations, this Monster Hunter Generations Let's Play. And today we're going to do a gathering quest. But if you ever watch our gathering quest, there's not going to be too much gathering. There's going to be probably some crazy things happening. Let's see about that. What is the quest? Yep. Uh, the quest is more coal, please. We have mm -hmm. to deliver 20 pieces of coal. Uh, some quests is deliver a powder stone. Uh, it's from the fort guard. The giant lance that protects our fortress runs on coal. And I hear there's plenty at the volcano. Can you get some for us? If you break all your pickaxes, you can always combine more. Nice, nice, nice. So we're gonna Off get we some. Go. So we're gonna get some coal. Coal, coal. coal. Like, why don't they just make their own coal? Like, they yeah. just have to burn some trees. That's charcoal. What you're talking about? It's, charcoal is different from coal, right? Yeah. But I mean, anything you use for coal, you could get the exact same effect from like burning wood. Well, it's it's not Factorio that we're talking about. This is a different game. Oh, okay, got it, 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 got it. Okay, so your guys' goal is going to be to deal with this thing. I'm just gonna get me the the Dragonite because I need my pizza. Well, you're gonna get Dragonite from the same spots you get coal. So. I know. I will. This, this is a perfect quest because I will do whatever I'm doing anyway all the time, and yep. I will I accidentally also complete this quest. Meanwhile, Shepard has to go uh, grab a stone. Yeah, go ahead, Shepard. Going. Do your thing. <laughs> going. Do you? The price. The price to having your video is always featured in the series. Uh, are my videos normally featured? <laughs> I don't know. Are, are they featured? I mean, you use it's his probably, videos for a lot of stuff. It's probably That's like true. a 50-50 split, right? 60-40? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I should probably drink a max potion just in case. I'm gonna uh -oh. my biscuits. Is, is it a difficult delivery, this one? No. No. Um, it just takes time, and there's no fighting of monsters involved. There's just, there's, I've got a lot of, there's a lot of water under that bridge. Um, mm. Oh. But the, you've heard the phrase, filthy egg casual before? Uh, yeah. That's Shepard. It hurts. Oh. It hurts me a little. You you said it or does, did somebody? Say it's it? been said of it, me. It, actually. Literally, Shepard nearly failed an egg quest once on time. Oh, wow, <laughs> I see. Was this recorded? It was. Uh, stream it was on a stream. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So this is basically your training now to to make up for make up for it to show the, the world that you can indeed and you should shall, shall indeed. Deliver all the eggs. Shepard. I'm strangely silent. I'm sorry. I'm Why do we... Get... Shepard, what do you think about this quest? I'm going to ask you the one question from... from oh, there's the Hammer Dar Dormitor. I'm going to ask you one question from, um, from Batman, which I always like. Why do we yeah. fall, Shepard? Um, so we can break our hip and go into the retirement home and not have to do egg delivery quests anymore. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So there is a silver lining with what I'm saying. I mildly, I have set myself for success on this one, guys. Yeah? I am just cruising. Yeah, I'm she whatever. <laughs> and Volvodon shows up. And there's also Hermitor. Yep. Wow. Chris, I want to do a, a little blast from the past with you. Huh. Uh, only because we're not doing anything else. You, you, you remember when you were playing that game, uh, Muramasa? Oh, yeah. So good the, game. Was it the, did you play it, in the, play it out in the Vita? Yeah. Got the Vita TV. Uh huh. I'm thinking I might go through it again. You ever beat it? I did. Really? Yeah. Both characters? Yeah. Play the DLC? 
Uh, no. It was be I, I beat it before the DLC came out, so I, I might buy the DLC. It's fifteen dollars. It's a good game. It's it gets it gets a bit repetitive uh, at the end. There's a lot of grinding. Um, but like it's very satisfying the combos that uh, you know there's like it's very combo tastic and the combos can be very satisfying. Beautiful looking game, man. Hmm, it is. Really beautiful. Vanillaware knows how to how to do those kind of like you know animations yeah. where you take an image and then put, project it on a grid and then modify the grid. Yeah, and apparently it's like it's a combination between flash movement and just like animation. Yeah, it's it's a like well known technique. Uh more popular these days when there's like, you know, three X three D acceleration. Uh a lot of my students are using similar effects. It's very cool because you can draw like a character very nice and detailed and you can still animate it. Uh, because you know, the problem is like when you have like like anime or something or like some kind of cartoon animations, you have to redraw the character each frame, right? Right. So the characters cannot be too complicated because then you, you the animations, you know, it would just take too much time to animate them. Uh, but with this technique, you can you can have like very detailed characters and make them still animate. Because you're just kind of twisting it around a little bit. Yeah, you're just taking. Oh, guys, I ran out. I actually ran out of pickaxes. Well, I'm maxed on coal, so I've got ten. What a I shame! Have, I have zero dragonite. I I guess I will have to farm some dragonite offline. So we want to kill the. The monster. Or no, just I'm riding right the form. Which right. monster? It's a Sienna. You, you're the monster. There's two monsters. <laughs> I, I've been told there are two monsters, or at least three. If I'm, in the, I'm also the monster. So did you deliver the thing, Shepard? Of course. Oh, great. Uneventful, smooth, as smooth as the day I got that squatty potty. Mm-hmm. You just eject it. Your I feel bad for all the people that think like we're just joking, like we're yeah. just making goofs. Oh yeah, no, no. There was the, there was one of those comments on like one of the videos was like, I thought these guys were just joking. It's like this is real. Like, y yeah, no, that's real. <laughs> I mean, like, it's. I understand. It, it sounds like science fiction, but it's not. If Gattaca had like a high tech way of pooping. Mm -hmm. It would It'd still be a pay party yeah, Imagine like a two, like, a, you know, two tier <laughs> society. One society, one one of peoples are using squatty potty, and they have all the time in the world because they're not using it. Pooping. There's so much more time. Yeah, and the other people are just all the time just sitting on the toilet trying to get the, the another turd out. <laughs> Can't. Can't. Takes Can't. too much time, too much effort. I like it when he's going sideways. It looks funny. It's probably one of my favorite monsters. Oh, come on! Will you leave me alone? Oof. Yes. Oh, I'm I'm not going so well. I need a little break. Well, also, just got knocked see? over. Oh, that's bad timing. I'm surprised I'm not bleeding yet. I am bleeding. He just hit me with his claws a lot. But I. How do you get rid of bleeding? Crouch. Crouch. Eat. Eat meat. Eat meat. Or like a fish. Does aeration help? What's that? What does aeration help? No. Or just don't run. Okay. Just don't run with him. Oh, he's on the roof. <clears throat> he's wet too. Oh, come on. I'm preparing uh, the giant energy blade again, guys. I'm just saying. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm so hyped. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna do a limit break. Putting down a trap. There you go. He's all yours. 
Once he takes one step forward, there you go. Okay. And energy blade. <laughs> that was teamwork right there. Oh god, we broke his back. Oh, it's so creepy. I know, right? Yeah, I was I was focusing on his back the entire time. The <laughs> energy blade gave him the rest. I was like, I have to. Oh, I need to go this way. Yep. So creepy when his back is broken. <laughs> he just wants you to rub his nub. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why? No. Oof. Oh, you got a new, oh. a new back. He makes such a sad noise. Oh, oh he's dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like watching you, Christian. I'm like, man, like he's going like all out. Uh, yeah, it's the rage. It's kind of funny. I, I shot, I shot the demon shot at you guys, and he died at the same time. I was like, did demon shot just kill him? <laughs> Maybe. We have to, we have to myth bust this. I think I finished him with my uppercut. But I'm not sure. That's possible. All right. Well, I've got ten coal. If anyone else has ten, we'll be good. Uh, Christian, I have ten coal. Yes. All right. And the contract has been made. Are you kidding me? Oh, I just wanted to use a far caster, but I was hit by the aerodromes. And I was nice. stunned away from my far caster, so I wasted my far caster. That's really sad. That's the saddest it's thing. incredibly sad. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. That's amazing. Yeah, man, it's, it's okay. They can come in if they want. Do you have children or cats that want to come in? Cats. Hmm. Nimitz is staring them down. I love that you named the cat after a battleship. Still, still such an amazing idea. Okay. If I had a cat, I would name him Commander William Adama. <laughs> you would. What about Gaius? That would be the Starbucks. other cat. That cat would be an asshole. What about what about Romo Lampkin? Well, Romo Lampkin is he more of a dog guy or a cat guy? He has a pet. What is that? Well, he has sunglasses. That looks kind of like a cool cat. No, no, he's got he's got a pet. I like the killer. Oh, he has a pet, an actual pet. Yeah, that's, that's wasteful in a ship where they're struggling for food and and water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he was a lawyer, so I guess he made okay money. <laughs> okay. All right, so this was it, and then we're going to continue next time around with something amazing and exciting. I hope you'll join us next time around, and wish you, as always, good luck and good hunt. Thank you. You're welcome. You earned it, Shepard. You earned it. You defeated your enemy. Uh, this episode brought to you by Squatty Potty. Remember, Mother Nature intended for us to squat when we poop. So while you could use a litter box like a well-trained prowler, let's be more civilized and use a Squatty Potty to poop like Mother Nature intended.